Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of One Piece Chapter 1007. Okay. We had some brawling. We had, um, like, kind of an update, I guess, on what the situation with, uh, the antibodies and everything. It's still, you know, ongoing. And it was actually Hyo and X Drake that were defending the medical team. But Hyo is uh, kind of on his last legs. He's, you know, the Oni virus or the uh, Ice Oni virus is like really starting to take hold. He told his fellow Yakuza that it was like, hey, when it takes me, you got to kill me beforehand because I don't want to have to kill anybody. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. So, uh, yeah. But he did kind of a cool, like, fire attack, which I'm like, I don't know where it's coming from. Also, the virus is what made him, you know, like, prime Hyo again, which is interesting. <laughs> One Piece, what can I say? But, uh, yeah. I'm sure there's something else I'm forgetting. But there was also some stuff with uh, Marco versus uh, King and Queen. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyway, the title is Tanuki-san. Okay, and the cover art is some penguins with Caesar Clown. Okay. They're, what are they? He's blowing them up balloons that are floating them around, and they're giving him fruit in exchange for that. Okay. Caesar Clown making balloon Making balloons represents for what? Oh, presents. Not represents that. Presents for baby penguins. Oh, they're baby penguins. Okay. Moving on then. Anyway, all hell breaks loose. Live floor. Skull dome. How is this possible? Most of the uh, Oniwabashu. Uh, I always say oh, Oniwaban. No, no. I always forget the shoe. Um, and... Mimi Ware Gumi, uh, captains have been beaten. That's impressive. Oh, they're laying on the ground dead. Or at least knocked out. Uh, uh, Daikogu san. Kazikage sama. Commander Hote. And there they all be lying there. <clears throat> but who sang this? It's hard to really know. Oh, I can see, uh, wait, are these the on-air pirates? Because we've got, a uh, Apu coming up. This is the legendary power of Hyoguro, the flower. He endured the ice demon transformation and used its power to it, or to his advantage. Now I see why the rest of the world fears Wano, says Drake. <laughs> but it's sadly, it is time. Boss Hyoguro! And the other are, are the samurai and stuff are like, praying and crying. Do not hesitate, uh, Yatepe. Clear your mind. If I turn into an ice demon, I'll. Grrr. I know, please give me a moment. I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it now. Boss, uh, Hatepe. Uh, and there's Ringo. I can't blame him. He's like a father to us. Grr. Get it over with, uh, uh, Sunaguro. I'm also at my limit. Oh, so another one of the, the bosses is being taken out. I can't be saved now. I don't want to hurt you guys. Basso, uh, Masa. Damn it. God, they're dropping like flies now. <clears throat> Damn it, they won't make it. Uh, Tanuki-san, aren't the antibodies ready yet? The infected on this floor are about to turn back into ice demons. Please save us, Queen-sama. If he was going to save you, he would have saved you already, you fools. Boss, why? <clears throat> why do we also have to die from your virus, too? You're questioning me? Oh, and he transformed and he's just, he's 
beating the crap out of him. Shut your mouth, and you wimp should know your place. What? The ice demon virus is my magnum opus. Oh, it's his best virus. Okay. Yeah. In fact, you could call it, uh, or you could say it was created specifically for you guys. Oh my god. This man gets worse. The fact that he infected them at all, but the fact that he's also saying that, like, I guess it was just to power up weak troops. It's like, eh, just lock them in a contained area or whatever and let them have at it. And it's like, they'll be stronger and then we get rid of them when they die. You know, we'll just burn the bodies. I can always get more troops. More test subjects. <clears throat> But yeah, it makes the weak stronger and they're berserkers, so they're more difficult to predict in battle. So that that's just terrible that he would do that. You pleasures were given an opportunity to gain useful abilities. You lost that gamble. Oh my god, he's playing that fact. <clears throat> now you're only good for a laugh. And they're over there sadly laughing. That's so heartless. Ha ha ha. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. And you waiters, no matter how long you wait, there aren't any more smiles coming. You've lost your chance at gaining abilities, and they're all over there like, well, damn. You're going to be waiters forever. You losers can only be useful to the almighty beast pirates by becoming ice demons now. You'll uh, blossom in death. Huh? You're telling us we're meant to die? That's right. You grunts are easy to replace in the app. About what I figured. Yeah! How could he say that? This is so cruel. Uh oh. One of them's coming up behind you guys. I'll give you all a chance. That antibody might be able to save a few of you. Oh, well, that not that one. Damn it, I can't die here. Kill all the ice demons. Foe or friend. Or friend or foe. Bah. Why'd I switch it? I don't know. I'm going to survive and leave this stinking crew. Uh, yeah, I don't see that happening. Queen could easily blast your ass because he has a laser in his mouth, apparently. So, hmm. But yeah. They may be the enemy, but uh, the way their superiors treat them is pitiful. Let's see. You samurai are just as bad. What do you think you're protecting here? That Tanuki, also a pirate, right? Do you guys really think he's quickly mass-producing the antibody? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's impossible. Don't you dare say anything bad about Chopper. I will come into this screen, and I will strangle you, long-necked bastard. <clears throat> I'll... Take off your other arm, and then you'll have to replace it. I bet he's already taken the antibodies himself and bolted. Mwahahaha. <laughs> it's... He's not a bastard like you. I doubt that treachery... I doubt that treachery is a pirate's job. Oh, you would know very well, wouldn't you, Quinn? Boss! Boss Huguro! Boss Huguro, I'll be joining you in death soon. So... That's, uh, uh, what, I, f I can't keep up with their names. But the one that was going to cut him down. <laughs> no need to be in such a hurry. That wait, or uh, that can wait until your time comes. Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Somewhere, somewhere, how is this on? Whatever, I fucked it up, sorry. Uh, boss, you go Stop! What? Oh, Chopper came in and frickin' blocked the blade. Does he know I'm at hockey? Because I would think his hooves could take it. Oh, sweet. Or is that his helmet? It might be his helmet. But either way, that, that has to be one hell of a hammer or hook. Helmet. But he blocked it, so I guess he, he finished it. Oh. Wait. Did he shove something in his mouth? What a relief. I made it in time. Aw. Oh, he made it. Oh, Tanuki-san. Uh, 
He's starting to transform back. The body is starting to warm up. It's a little painful, but you're going to be fine. Wait, you already tested this to know this? I mean, I guess it would be obvious that your body would heat up your ice. But, and I guess, you know, the permafrost kind of essentially that covers your body is, uh, yeah, that being heated up on your skin and everything would probably uh, be painful. But uh, the guy that was going to make the kill is crying in relief. You did it, Tanuki-san. I know you would come through. Miyagi, Tristan, Tristan, uh, please hurry. Oh my god, they have it. They're going to disperse it in a cannon? Wait, is this airborne? Uh, Chopper Sensei, the preparations are complete. A cannon, and they spelled cannon. That's cannon as in like, well, this happened, and then later we recall that it happened. You know, continuity cannon. But, no, that's misspelled. But anyway, uh, fire! And, oh my god, it has a face. It's a giant plume of the antibodies. And it's got like a cutesy face on it. Whoa, choppers. Fodge? Nebulizer? What? I think I've seen that word before, but I don't know what it means. And that's if I even pronounced it right. So sorry about that. Anyway, uh, uh, so that they're transforming and it's hurting. But hey, a little pain, I guess, is better than dying. What the hell are you up to, Tanuki? I'm carrying your people and my friends, you long-necked bastard. Who's the real doctor? There are tens of thousands on this floor. It would be impossible to administer an injection to them one by one. So I analyzed the virus and uh, synthesized my own counter virus based on your methods. Uh, it's your foul virus against mine. This means the cure is inhalable so everyone can be treated simultaneously. And everyone, yeah, like the the Yakuza bosses are like over there cheering because one of them's like, oh my god. Amasa, I believe is his name. <clears throat> Queen's just kind of like, how did a second rate pirate like it? He ain't no second rate. He's the cutest pirate that ever walked the earth. And he's a better doctor than you'll ever be. <clears throat> Acquire such medical expertise from an ancient old lady and an island of birds. Viruses shouldn't be weapon. Oh, no, wait, I'm, I totally messed up. <clears throat> Our crew was once shattered, or, yeah, scattered uh, across the, if they were shattered, good lord, um, across the entire world, and we all used that time to hone our skills. Who the hell asked you to butt in anyway? You even went and cured my subordinates. Yeah, but it also likely means that they will, uh, kind of join their side now ha ha it's kind of a double slap in your face wait you beat my virus and you took my men you little son of a bitch <clears throat> viruses shouldn't be weaponized you're bound to lose control of them eventually I'm not going to listen to a lecture from a tanuki uh oh he's about to ready to fire his laser again or is it his guns I can't tell who the hell do you think I am? Hey, you ain't no commie, so you, you calm your tits. Um, let's see here. Tanuki-san, watch out! Oh my god. The samurai and... Or no, wait, those aren't the samurai. But it's the the beast pirates. They're, they're protecting Chopper from the bullets. I, I figured something like this was going to happen. That they would join his side in some way or another. The pleasures? Yeah. Huh? Haha. <laughs> that stings. What are you doing? Get out of the way. Uh-oh. There's like steam coming out of him. It's hard to know what he's about to fire. Uh, shut up, queen. You almost killed our brothers. Tanuki-san saved them. We'd rather die protecting our savior. Oh my god, it's frickin' Dress Rosa all over again. Uh, 
funny the weakness trio turns out to be like gods and saviors in the eyes of you know the masses then continue serving a crazy boss like you isn't that right boys yeah count me in thanks tanuki drop dead queen you lousy ingrates how are they ingrates when you literally were causing their deaths Way to go, Tanuki. Oh, and here comes Marco grappling around King or Queen's neck. Bah, Queen. Why did I say King? I don't know. Ugh. Now give him the bet. Or give him your best shot. Thanks, Marco. Let's. Uh, but let's uh, get one thing straight. Rumble. Okay. I'm not a Tanuki, is he? Now when um, Monster Point, and he just. <laughs> Take that. I'm giving you my best shot. It's called Doctor's Fury. Mm. He really should name some of his basic bash attacks. Like, I think that would be cool. Friggin' Marco's like, oh, damn. They're all like, damn. We're sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't, none of them knew about Monster Point, so now that I think they're kind of scared shitless of him. Even Drake! Like, I get, like, some of the the Yakuza and the Beast Pirates, but I'm surprised Marco, Hyo, and X-Drake are like, Okay, we don't fuck with this doctor when it comes to matters of health. <laughs> I love that. Love that. That's probably going to be the thumbnail right there unless something better comes along. But uh, let's see here. It'll be just like a couple weeks ago when it was... Uh, everyone kind of gets like that big punch to the face moment. Or there's been quite a few this arc. I like it. But uh, let's see here. Right brain tower, castle interior. There's a crawl space above every floor of the castle. Momonosuke, are you all right in there? Oh, I'm sure he's fine. I am not. I feel disgusted with myself. What? Everyone is expecting much from me. But I am weak, pathetic, spoiled fool. Or I am a weak, spoil, a pathetic, spoiled fool. I really hate being like this. Momonosuke, Sama. You're a splendid young man. No, he's a little ledge, but you know, at least he knows his faults. Huh? Oh, he's coming out of the... He transferred... He came out right from the boobs. Splendid. Wow. Oh, and his backside's coming out the back. <laughs> I think. Yeah. What? An eel? Momonosuke-sama. So, Shinobu didn't know about this either. I guess that she wouldn't. Um, let's see here. Reception room. Castle interior. Once when... Uh, Kaido was being held captive by the Navy. Oh, oh, so we're back with the CP0. <coughs> or CP IG0. Why can't it just be CP0? Vegapunk used his lineage or, or lineage factor to try and uh, uh, synthesize an artificial devil fruit. Oh my god, that's how? The world government intended to seize the fruit, but it was ruled a failure. So it was left on Punk Hazard. Okay. What is the problem with this fruit? Other than he can't, like, control his transformations. There has to be something. How is this relevant? There was a massive explosion on Punk Hazard. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> mm, excuse me. It would be convenient if it was destroyed then, but a report from G5 indicates that there was still a research facility in operation until recently. I was just thinking it's fortunate that the experiment experiment was a failure. That's all. Hmm. Now I'm starting to worry about Momo even more. <clears throat> but uh, let's see here. Storeroom behind the castle tower. Okay. Let's see here. We've got... Okay, we are... Are we finally going to find out who the mysterious person was? Kind of watching over uh, the scabbards. Presumably, it is Toki or Hiori. Those are the most likely ones, but, I mean, you know. <clears throat> I doubt uh, Oda would throw in just a new character for this. Who treated our wounds, Huff? I don't know. 
I vaguely remember catching a glimpse of a familiar face. Okay, that almost proves that it's Tokyo or Hiyori. Especially coming from, uh, uh, shit. Yamatsu. Uh, what is it? Why can't I remember his name? Um, but yeah, the, the Kappa. But I had a dream. Uh, there's just no way it was real. Luffy don't know. He stepped up to fight Kaido in our steed. But the rest of the... Wait. Why does that... I just slightly looked over. Why does that look like freaking um... Uh... Odin over there? But the rest of the island is still at war. Let's go. We still have some fight left in us. You guys look like you're taking a beating. And they're all, what, what? It is Odin. That ain't a fucking way. Who the hell is this? Wait. Okay, try to recalibrate my brain. Who has transformation powers? Um, oh, sweet heavens, don't tell me it's Momo's power. If it's Momo, I'm, I'm gonna be interested. Um, I was hoping our paths would cross again. You're all aged quite a bit. Wahahaha. Ha ha ha. Huh? Odin Sama? And who, whoever this person is, is crying. They can't believe their eyes. Oh, and we're on break. Damn. I mean, we had quite a few weeks without a break, so. I mean, I guess I can't blame Oda. But yeah, they're all shocked, so. Hmm. Let's see. Mr. Two or Bon Clay has the I forget what it's called, but he can like change his appearance. Obviously this wouldn't be um uh what is her name? Part of uh Blackbeard's crew. She has like the uh the kitsune fruit and can transform. Is there any others? Hmm. Unless Momo has it, because of, like, you know, transformation capabilities of the dragon, because, I mean, you know, Kaido transforms, of course. But, hmm. But it's a lineage factor to make the fruit. So what lineage did they frickin' take to make that fruit? The lineage factor of the fruit itself, or of a creature, presumably? <clears throat> oh, that might explain the dragons, then. Like, maybe they didn't know necessarily about the fruit, or maybe they did, about the one that Kaido has. You know, the, the fish fish fruit. And then he became a dragon. And then, you know, Vegapunk was like, Dang, there's a dragon fruit out there. Holy crap. And then his, you know, superiors were like, Okay, Vegapunk, time to use that big brain of you, big brain of yours, and make us up some devil fruits that turn us into that and it's like um okay um how do i do that it's like i don't know you're the massive mastermind behind your scientific know-how it's like i guess but hmm okay lineage factor time whatever just make them so then he makes like the the artificial dragons to get a template and then you know learns their genetic structure and you know, uh, applies it to, I would assume, a smile fruit of some denomination, or maybe some regular fruit, and then when those two things that were not meant to combine, it created the, the failed devil fruit that, um, Momo now has. So, that might be him in disguise, but I don't know, I don't know who else it could be. <clears throat> If anybody else has any ideas of who this Odin could be, please let me know. But, uh, yeah. So, everyone's been cured. Queen got knocked out. Mama said, knock you out. But, um, everyone is kind of scared of Chopper, which is hilarious. Ah, uh, you gotta love it when Chopper gets a cool moment. <clears throat> I also love that he always seems to match... There's been more times than not where he's matching up with doctor, scientist, you know, matchups. So, that's kind of cool as well. 
But, uh, yeah. So, that happened. They did, like, an airborne infusion because it wouldn't have made sense to be able to inject everyone. There just wasn't enough time and doctors. Um, so, everyone's safe. That's great. I'm trying to, the fact that the Beast Pirates, like, started joining up with, you know, to protect Chopper was great. I hope they can be, you know, saved. I mean, they did get shot after all. Even if they're safe from the virus, they, they ain't safe from the gunshot, you know? Not that, like, regular gunshots in this world really kill you. You have to be full of, full of lead. But, uh... <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, I was right about that, so I'm happy. It didn't quite happen the way I thought, but still. Also, it's just funny that Chopper became a savior, just like Usopp did in Dressrosa, so... I wonder if that's just going to be a thing with, like, the, you know, the, the weak trio. So Nami would be up next. I mean, I guess technically, in a way... She kind of did that in the case of, like, trying to help save the kids on Punk Hazard. But they didn't, like, necessarily call her, like, a savior or a god or whatever. So, we'll have to wait and see. <clears throat> I actually wouldn't find it very interesting if, like, they can ever figure out how to implement that, like, magic wand thing that she brought from uh, Weathera and implement it into her uh, climb attack and like then she does something big and saves like you know a village or something and then they start calling her that you know but it's like oh my god she uses magic she she must have come here to save us is she of the divine you know something like that <clears throat> that might be when it happens for her if it happens I don't know the, the kids thing might be her her big save moment, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Queen is at least down for the moment. I imagine Monster Point really... And that's if he doesn't keep attacking him. I mean, Chopper probably has a lot of frustrations given, you know, what has gone down here. He is a man of morals, or a dear man of morals. So, it's like... He's going to beat him up probably more than just this one punch. Just to make sure he is down. He is not going to hurt anyone. Maybe break a few invertebrates in his neck. <clears throat> I don't know. But anyway. I've rambled on long enough. Um, but yeah. Uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood. Please let me know down below. Uh, <coughs> mm, excuse me. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Um, sub goal is 500-500, so if you can help out, please do. Um, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming. I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings. Chopper is feared by people, and I couldn't be happier.